Good morning everyone, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya Cutis Porcelana. Love that name, Cutis Porcelana. Uh, I guess it comes because the flowers look a lot like porcelain and this is a really cute little flower. It's different than anything else that I've ever flowered and when it comes to Hoyas now I've seen almost every flower so anything that's a little bit different really intrigues me. Um, this Hoya came from my uh, tie order that you saw me unbox. It's the very first one to, to flower. Um, I'm growing it in a bonsai mix in a net pot with a uh, rabbit wire or critter wire uh, trellis. And let's take a look at the flowers. There's no detectable scent on this that I can smell, but there's not a lot of them and they are pretty small. You want to stick around to the end of this video because I'll have some great stills of this. There they are, cute little bell-shaped flowers. They make a fantastic uh, still photo, very photogenic. So um, you'll like the, the still shots of these flowers. Um, all I can say about this is it flowered in about three months from getting the, the plant. It has put on quite a few new leaves. I don't know if I'm growing it right because I just don't have enough experience with this, but uh, obviously I made the right choice as far as getting this thing to flower. You can see this coarse bonsai mix that I am using as an experiment with a few different Hoyas. Um, it grows tremendous root systems that um, show no signs of root rot, but it's very hard on a lot of these plants growing in it to get any um, vegetative growth. This one here has put on more vegetative growth than almost anything that I've put in it so far. But uh, I think this is a Philippine Hoya and I don't know when it came to the trade but it's it's new to me and I'm pretty happy that I flowered it so early. And that's pretty much it and I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips and I always appreciate you taking the time to, to watch these videos.